homeschool mom like me. There's still a few months left in the school year, but your head is already in next year. You're already thinking and planning about the resources and curriculum that you are going to use for the next school year. If that is you, you're going to love this video. I will be sharing the curriculum and resources that we will be using with my four-year-old. To my familia homeschool. My name is Marissa and I live in Miami with my husband and my three daughters. We are a family that has chosen homeschool as the way that we will educate our children. On this channel, I love talking about curriculum, resources, activities, stuff about motherhood, stuff about family life. So if that is something that is of interest to you that could be helpful for your family, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join us for more videos in the future. I'm super excited to share with you the resources and curriculum that we will be using in the next school year. These are some of my favorite videos to watch, so I'm really excited to share our resources with all of you. I'm hoping that by getting these videos out a little bit early on, if you see something that piques your interest and you think will fit great for your child, you still have time to grab it before the next school year. In the next couple weeks, I'm going to be talking about resources that I will be using for each one of my daughters as well as our group subjects. But today we're going to start off easy with my four-year-old. Well, she will be four in May. She's more or less on a pre-K kindergarten level. Up until this point, we've been working on simple preschool things. So letters, numbers, shapes, colors, and letters and letter sounds. My plan for this next school year is to start the process of learning to read. This is the point where I started that process with my oldest daughter. And I feel like my four-year-old will be ready for that. Obviously, I always start with going over letters and letter sounds, and she has a really good foundation in that, so I feel like she's ready to start putting those sounds together. There are several resources that I used for my oldest daughter when we were going through this process, but this time I'm trying something new. This next school year, we are going to be using Foundations Phonics from Masterbooks. I'm really excited to dig into this resource. I love the way that it is biblically based, that it goes through different passages and different songs that are based in the Bible to teach kids how to learn how to read. And other than that, it's really simple. It looks very simple to use, showing those letters, those letter sounds, and how to put them together. The next resource that I'm going to be using to continue working on those letters, letter sounds, writing, all those essential skills for pre-K and kindergarten is the Get Ready for the Code series. She is already working on book A, and so my plan is to just keep on going with this series and using it for the next school year. We really love the whole Explode the Code series. It's worked out really great for us. My oldest daughter is on, I don't know, book C, I believe it is. And she's gone through all of them from the beginning. We really love them. They turn into some really great independent work for them to do. And I've seen how great they are for working on those letter sounds, those letter blends, putting words together, seeing those words over and over again. We really, really love it. And the next resource that I'm going to show you is our math resource. So this is a resource that I've already talked about before. This is one that we actually have have already gotten started on. We started on it in January. This is Math Lessons for Living Education from Masterbooks. If you haven't seen this resource before, it goes through a story in each unit that follows these kids and ties those math concepts into the story. This resource goes through numbers, shapes, learning about opposites, learning about colors. It's a really great resource. We're really loving it. So my plan in the next school year is to just keep working on this, go through it, finish it. And we're not in any hurry, but once we get through the Math K from Masterbooks, my plan is to start with the math curriculum that my oldest daughter is using. My oldest daughter started in January with the Math UC curriculum, and we're loving it. I'm loving Math UC. We finally found our math curriculum, and I'm so excited. And so my plan, once she finishes Math K from Masterbooks, is to get Math UC Primer and start working on that with her. So those are the resources that I will be using with my youngest daughter, for this next school year. I hope that this video was useful for you, that you enjoyed it. Maybe you got some ideas for your little one for the next school year. If you liked it, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join us next week with My Familia Homeschool.